Hey guys, it's Sam and it's the chisel tip challenge. <laughs> For this I used my Copic markers and the dreaded chisel tip. Ugh. And um, for this drawing, I decided to go with a mermaid since it's apparently something called mermaid, which I had no idea about until recently. <laughs> so I figured, you know, if I'm gonna do the chisel tip challenge, might as well also do mermaid at the same time. And of course, I decided to go with like the most complicated design possible <laughs> of this merman dude based off of a lionfish. And, oh my god, I redrew this picture several times. I was very much not satisfied with the anatomy and just, I'm still not satisfied with it. But, uh, I went and I did it anyway. Because <laughs> it was like, oh, it's, whatever, it's good enough. It's for a challenge video, right? I'm not gonna try that hard, I'm too lazy for that shit. Anyway, so, coloring it now, it was a little bit difficult to figure out the colors at first, but... I kind of tested it out on a separate piece of paper and figured out an okay-ish thing, but I'm not a super big fan of how I ended up coloring it chisel tip aside. Though the chisel tip did make it a bit difficult for the littler details, and I apologize in advance that a little bit of the video is actually missing in the recording because I forgot- or I didn't notice and my camera stopped recording, so I missed my going back over the darker part of his skin with the YR04 again, but that's all that happened. <laughs> Anyway, if I had to go back and recolor this, I would definitely include a lot more of the lighter tan stripes. I think that added a lot of stuff to it. <laughs> I don't know, made it look more interesting, and as it got closer to the top of his body, I didn't do that. And I think I initially had planned to color it in the reverse, the majority being the light tan, and I kind of screwed that up when coloring it, I didn't realize until like an hour ago that I was like, oh yeah, didn't I initially have that idea for it? <laughs> Oops. It was a kind of a lot of fun to design the character though, even though I'm like really bad at character design and stuff. And the lionfish has so much crap, man. It's such a fancy fish. How do you make that into a mermaid thing? I don't know. So this was like the best I could do. I kind of wish I colored the main large fins better, but at that point, like coloring the whole body took so much out of me, I was like, I don't care anymore, and I was just like, whoa, whatever. And that kind of shows later on in the clip, because um, I colored his eyes blue, because the fish apparently has blue eyes. I guess it knows color theory. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh, I'll put blue in the background, because, you know, orange and blue. And then I guess I was drunk or something, and I started just scribbling down my blue, and oh, mistakes were made. And you can't you can't take it back. I was just sitting there watching as my hand was drawing with the chisel tip, and I'm like, "What are you doing? Stop! You're only making it worse." And I just kept going. I, went, I put that nasty blue in this nasty style all the way around the picture, and it's coming up. It was the worst ever. And then I tried to fix it by having a dark blue circle, and I really liked that dark blue circle. And I was like, "Oh yeah, okay. How can I fix this?" So I took um, a dark gray and I tried to color over the blue. Oh my god, I don't know what was going on in my mind at that moment. But there's so many mistakes. Blame it on the fact that I was distracted watching Star Trek. <laughs> but um, I ended up putting it into Photoshop and just manually deleting it. I was debating covering it with acrylic paint and I was like, this, this is computer paper. It's not meant for that. And I could always just cut it out manually, like if I don't want to have that crap around the original picture. So I just went and Photoshop, and I included me just erasing it in case you guys are curious about that. But oh my god, oh this picture! <laughs> I was glad that it was kind of an orange picture. I realized I've been drawing a lot of blue recently, so you know that's nice. Different is nice. Um, it was also a bit of a challenge for me to keep opening the right tip of the marker. I kept accidentally opening the brush end and I was like, crap, and I had to switch the marker around. <laughs> I wasn't used to it. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I'm not like an anti-chisel tip person and it's nice for coloring in large sections. I do occasionally, though granted very, very rarely, use the chisel tip, but never for a full drawing, so this was kind of an interesting challenge. And as an extra thank you for my patrons over on my Patreon page, the line art for this picture is already available for you guys to color either doing your own chisel tip challenge or just in general. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye!